I'm going to show you my Ulta haul. Now, September, although it's October and happy October, is one of my favorite times of the year. Not just because we're transitioning from, from summer into fall, but because Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty. And if you are been under a rock or you're unfamiliar with 21 Days of Beauty, each day for 21 days, Ulta has like a beauty deal or a beauty sale that's 50, 60, 70 per off. 70 percent off. It's it's literally amazing. So it's my opportunity to try out different products I've never used before um, for a fraction of the cost. So let me stop talking. And let's get into my goodie bag. Along with all of the great deals that you get from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, they have gifts with purchase. And usually if you spend over a certain amount, you get all of these great goodies or gifts. So um, you'll be seeing some of these gifts with purchases as well. So let's get into it. Now I believe the kickoff for me for the 21 Days of Beauty was this Pure. And at first, um, I'm going to say I wasn't really interested, but reading reviews is probably one of my guilty obsessions or guilty pleasures. So I read the reviews. It's got really great reviews. So what it is, is a miracle mist. And it's a hydrate and set mist. So um, usually it instantly hydrates dry, tired, or stressed skin and helps to set makeup for low lasting performance. Now initially I bought two of these and I just realized... I didn't need to on top of all the other products that I have. It's just, it didn't make sense. So here's a pure mist. You can see how large this is. I've had this probably since the first day of 21 Days of Beauty. About 10 to 20 days already. And this is how much I've used. It's an 8 fluid ounce. So um, that's why I realized that having two wasn't just going to make any sense to me. This the mist, the smell of the mist is refreshing. It's been using Mario Badescu's rose water for the longest time, but I love this as a great alternative. So I'm happy I was able to take advantage of this. Um, for the price point, I think this usually retails for $22. Would I buy this for $22? Probably not, but it was a great value for $8. Um, and next time, I know next time Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty rolls around in March which happens to be my birthday month, so I stack up on a lot of goodies too during that time, so that is the Pure Mist. Um, next, I was able to take advantage of the Velvet Touch Primer, and this is by uh, Japonesque. Uh, this also got really good reviews. Um, this, I believe, was either 8 or $12. I'm not sure which one, uh, but this is a really nice size. You've seen I've used this generously, and still have tons. Um, believe this is supposed to. It says, um, let's read the description. Let's see. Apply to bare skin before foundation, smooth and primer. So this is supposed to be really good as well. So I have this. So as you can see, a lot of this stuff is face products. Um, this actually came towards the latter part of the 21 Days of Beauty. And uh, one of my friends talked me into this because she says it um, had really great reviews. It says it's TSA approved, smudge proof, paraben, gluten, and vegan free. So it's cruelty free, animal cruelty. And this is by Perfect. And it's the Perfect Tin Curl. I'll show you the brush. And I've been using this and I am honestly tell you, I'm in love with this. So this is the brush. It kind of has like a slight um, rounded tip. But this brush, um, I know this brush reminds me of the Better Than Sex brush, but I love it. This has my lashes like really elongated, really bushy, really beautiful. So although this was, I believe this was $12, $10 or $12, originally it's $22. This was such a great value. Um, and then I picked up a couple of other things. I know um, I picked up... I'm not sure which product I was able to get with this, but I, oh, I picked up, um, they had some, so in between the 21 Days of Beauty, you also get perks for being a platinum member, if you're a platinum member, and they have some um, Becca products, they had all kind of products, Tarte products that were 50% off. So I was able to take advantage of the Becca poured highlighters, but I didn't like the consistency. So when I did purchase that, I was able to get the, the Becca Ever Matte Sample Primer, but I just couldn't hold on to those. The consistency wasn't that well. It seems like every 21 Days of Beauty, I take advantage of the Anastasia Brow Gel. The last time I had, the first time I bought the clear, the second time I had the tinted, and I'm starting to use the tinted now, 
which I have on my brows with no other pomade or brow gel. No, I mean, no other pomade or brow um, pencil, and it works really well. And then this is the clear again, so I put this in my extra stash because this is always a great value for ten dollars. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, some of the bigger items were this Too Faced Better Than Se oh, excuse me, the Too Faced Vegas Nade Palette, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I had seen the display, wasn't really interested, and then I went and did some research and I looked into it and I fell in love and I'm so happy that I was able to take advantage of this. Now I waited in my store to get it in stock. We hadn't had it in stock for a while. I called around the Bay Area, they didn't have it, but finally I was able to purchase it online. And um, just let me show you what the palette is. The palette comes with, uh, for some reason, I was a little upset with my packaging this year or when I got this in the mail because Ulta does a really good job of keeping everything in order and aligned and for some reason my box was all damaged and smashed but it comes with uh, so it comes in this nice little presentation and I'll try to set it up again although I know it might not stay um, let's see it comes with uh, one side of the panel or palette comes with these six cards and they're just sample cards to help you with um, makeup ideas which I love so this comes in a palette it's like um, insta star then it is um, hashtag MOTD next is a uh, stardust repost rebel fully charged and then Comment Queen. These I've used these cards. I've been religiously using these cards. And they are really nice looks. Now she does reference um, in some of the examples an eyeliner. Um, which is um, the Perfect Eyes Eyeliner. I wish they would have included that. Especially because they talked about the eyeliner so much. You would have thought it came in the palette. So inside it comes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I have some of. The Better Than Sex, which I have both full size and sample size and I love. And then it comes with this um, glitter eyeshadow. It's very sparkly. You can see that consistency. I don't want to drop it. But if you could just see it in the top, that's what it looks like. It is gorgeous. So you're supposed to use that on top of your looks. So that was one portion of the palette. And then next is the Stardust palette. No mirror, but it just comes with the film over the top. And then, if you can see, I've been religiously using this, so I'm sorry about the mess. But I so, so, so love this palette, and I'm glad that I took advantage of it. I don't own very many Too Faced palettes. I know I have... Um, the chocolate bar, I have the sugar pop, and probably one other or so, but I don't own very many, but this was this was such a great palette. Such a great palette, I'm glad I took advantage of it. So that was one of the other items I purchased during the 21 Days of Beauty. Um, because I bought a Becca, or excuse me, a Benefit, a full size professional, which um, I ended up not keeping because I had so many different sample sizes. One of the gifts we purchased was this uh, laugh. Laughter is better than, uh, is the best cosmetic. So this is one of the gift with purchases, which is like a nice little tassel um, makeup bag. Nice gift. So again, you see so many different values. Um, another item that I was able to pick up is a Mali Pore Defender. And I had... I purchased this full size before and it just didn't work out for me. It was 25% off during the 21 Days of Beauty, so I figured I'd try it again. So I'm trying this again. I'm trying it more than just once or twice. Um, I've started using this all during the week and I'm actually liking it. I mean, it took some while to get over the hurdle, but I am, I am actually really liking it. So um, again, it comes with the sponge applicator, which because I've used it and I'm darker, you can see that it's been used. And then um, this is what the Pore Defender looks like. And then uh, because a lot of the 21 Days of Beauty 
items are so hard to come by in store that I just opted to buy them online. So usually whenever you purchase something online, you get tons of little sample bags. So this is the professional sample. This was like a serum with different samples. Some um, perfume samples I received. Um, Smashbox samples. And even I received like a Their Real sample. So, I mean, for me, I thought I did a lot of damage. But now that I'm looking at it as a whole, I didn't do really bad. Like, I didn't spend tons and tons and tons. I focused on products that I really did like during the 21 Days of Beauty. I found that this year, the products weren't um, items that I was so excited about. But after some research, and I think maybe even feedback from consumers, they did alter or they did change some of the items they offered. Bare Minerals being one of my favorite brands, had a lot of products that I had already owned. So um, I don't think I bought any Bare Minerals products for the most part. I did buy a Tarte palette that just didn't work out for me because it was so similar to some of the other palettes that I had from my QVC TSV, so I ended up not keeping that. But for the most part, I feel like everything that I have from the 21 Days of Beauty are items that I'm using, items that I'm loving. Oh, and then one last thing that I didn't include was um, I was able to pick up their Real, and that's the their Real um, in the color brown by Benefit. That's why I got the cosmetic belt. I think I got a full size um, of the primer and I got this brown there real now I have the there real in the blue as well as the black which I haven't used in the black but the brown and the blue are kind of my favorites but because I've been looking into lash extensions that's why I've been using perfect as well as better than sex I mean I've been all over the place as far as what mascaras I've been using I've been trying not to hoard so much and save my mascaras and start using them so that's been kind of my focus I'll do like one mascara for a month and I'll open up another one so and of course I have more kind of um their uh, professional sample. So I have a, quite a few of those or I feel like are going to last me for a while. So for the most part, these are all of the products that I got during the old 21 Days of Beauty. Again, it's always something that I look forward to during the fall season and again in March during my birthday season. So if you were able to take advantage of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauties, please feel free to let me know which items you picked up so that maybe if they're available during March, it's something that I'll be on the lookout for. Again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to Tiffany Talks. It's always a pleasure talking to you about uh, my love for all these makeup products. And uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.